appreciated the mayor's distinction when I um, alleged that he was going to appoint himself to be city manager, that I, I, that I should go back to the article and look. And I did. And the article says that McGrady said he will assume the position of acting city manager until a permanent replacement for Miller can be hired. And I'm just going to go back again to Article 8 of the Declaration of Rights, that it says, no person exercising the functions of one, which is the three powers, legislative, executive, or judicial, shall assume, and that's the word that's in the article, yes. I will assume the position. No person exercising the functions of one shall assume or discharge the duties of any other. And I recognize that there were an exigent circumstance, and there was nobody tomorrow. It's the mayor's job, and you would do that job. But that's not the situation. There are weeks before there's going to be a vacancy. There's time to find someone to act in that stead as an acting city manager. And a deed accomplished by an action, deliberate in action, is nonetheless a deliberate act. Yes, and sir. so you are allowing yourself to be put in that position, which violates the, the text, if not obviously the spirit, of the Maryland Declaration of Rights. And that's a concern to me. I think you would do everything possible to do a good job, but I think that the scope of those two things is too broad practically. And legally, that's a conflict. And that's, that's a, an alignment of branches of government that should not happen. That's my comment. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Lambert.